Hi and welcome to Enlargement. Um, just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So, what we've been asked to do is to enlarge this shape by a scale factor of 3 through centre 0, 0. Now, before we actually get on to the enlargement, I do just want to look at this description because it's very important. We've been given three, uh, three important uh, uh, parts to this. First of all, we've been told that we need to enlarge. So that means to uh, generally to make bigger. So we're going to make this shape bigger. And we're going to do it by a scale factor of 3. Now, a scale factor of 3 means how many times bigger is the shape going to get. So the shape is going to get 3 times bigger than it originally is. And then we are given a centre 0, 0. Now, if we have a centre of enlargement, that is the point where the enlargement begins. And so this um, scale factor also means that from this centre, we will get 3 times further away. And so for us to actually decide where that new shape is going to be, the first thing I actually want to do here is to mark that centre of enlargement. And so the centre of enlargement is 0, 0. So I'm going to mark that point on my graph. There it is at 0, 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw what are known as rays. And they're going to go through the corners of the shape. So I'm going to draw, the cor uh, draw these rays as far as I can. So going through one corner, Going through the next corner, keeping everything as neat as possible. And finally going through the third corner as well. And there we go. Now, what we're going to look at here, uh, this is a method for us to actually show where we need to draw our shape in. So I'm going to think about this corner here, so the, the bottom left corner of the shape. Now, if I go from my starting point, it goes right one space and up one space. Now, as it is a scale factor of three, I actually want to do that now three times. So a long one, up one, a long one, up one, a long one, up one. It has shown me that I want to draw the corner of my shape here. If I do the same again for the bottom right hand point, so this one I have to go along three and up one. I'll do that again, along three and up one. And I'll do it again, along three and up one. And so this is where the next point should be. Now you will notice here that the two points I've marked so far have hit on the rays that we drew in. That is very important, they should match up. Lastly, if I just look at the top right corner, now this is all going to start overlapping slightly, but it goes along three and up two. So along three, up two, along three and up two. It brings us to another point on our rays. There is my third corner. And so all I want now want to do is join those up and produce my new triangle. I'll colour that in just so we can see uh, where that new triangle is. So my new triangle. Is this one. And I should also say, um, I've named this original shape the object. Now, uh, the name for the other version is the image. So your enlarged version, the one that you have uh, actually uh, performed the transformation on, that is the image. So let's try that again um, for enlarging the shape by a scale factor of 2 through 0.91. So, First thing is, we want to start with our point, 9, 1. There's 9, 1. So that is going to be my centre of enlargement. I then need to draw in rays. Now, it's up to you how many of these rays you draw. Um, as long as you can get an idea as to where you should be going to, you might only need a couple just to, uh, just to guarantee that you're in the right position. 
but you might want to draw through every single corner to make sure that you've definitely got every bit i'm just going to go with three this time um, and we've got a scale factor of two and so once again all i'm going to do is i'm going to look at the corners that i have matched and how did i get from the center of enlargement so the center of enlargement here i've gone left three and up one and so i'm going to do that again left three and up one and because it's a scale factor of two i only have to do that twice and so this is the new bottom left hand corner of my shape if i try the same for this corner well that is left one up one and so i'm going to do the same again left one up one i've done it twice so there's the new corner of my shape and lastly if i look at this corner well this is left one up three so i'm going to go left one up three and it brings me right up here now what that tells me in terms of my new shape there are three of my corners but that is only the bottom uh, and the right hand side of this shape now in terms of the enlargement we know it's a scale factor of two which means that all of the sides must now be twice as long so it was two uh, two squares it's now four squares so this height of one square that must double now so it must now go up two squares this length here was one square and so if i go across it's now two squares this height was one square so it now must be two and this width here was one square so it must now be two doubling up and so my new shape is this one here and so that is my image so the new shape is twice as big and it is twice as far away from the center of enlargement so next we are asked to enlarge this shape by a scale factor of a half through 0 0.00 now earlier i said that the word enlarge generally means to make bigger and that is because of this situation if you are asked to enlarge a shape by a fact uh, by a fraction which is less than one what it actually does is makes the shape smaller so an enlargement can make things smaller um, in this case so we've been told uh, we're going to go through the point zero zero so the same thing here there's my point zero zero i'm still going to draw my rays in i'm going to join it through the corners of my shape and i'm just going to do that for all three corners there we go but this time because it is a scale factor of a half when we are looking at how we have um, reached this point so we have gone let's say for this corner here so we've gone right one two three four five six and up two well in order to find out where it's going to be on the uh, when we make the enlargement we need to half all of that information so instead of going along six we're only going to go along three and instead of going up two we're only going to go up one because the shape is going to get smaller but again it's also going to become closer to the starting point it's going to be halfway half as far away as it was so there's one corner if i go to the bottom right hand corner well that has gone eight spaces along and two spaces up and so if i half that that's four spaces to the right and one up there's my new corner and the last one well to get all the way to here well I, i'm going to draw this the other way around just so i can uh, keep this a little bit neater i've actually gone up six and along eight so if i half that well i would only go up three and along four and so there's my new corner 
join those all, those all up and we've got a new triangle which I'll just highlight for us so there's our new triangle and it is half the size all of the lengths are half the size and it's also half as far away because we've uh, made it closer to the center of enlargement one more enlarge this shape by a scale factor of a half through 0 0.60 so again I want to mark on my center of enlargement at 60 and again I want to draw in my rays and again it's up to you how many you're going to do I'm just going to go with the main uh, the main corners of the shape because I should be able to judge from that where I need to be and so to get to this corner here well I've moved one two three four five six spaces left and two spaces up and therefore if it's going to be a scale factor of a half I want to half all of that so I only want to go three places left and one space up there's a new corner and to get to the corner um, here well that is six spaces to the left and it's six spaces up and so I'm going to half all of that I'm just going to go three spaces left and three spaces up there's a new corner and to get to this point well that is six spaces up and two spaces left so I'm going to half that three spaces up one to the left there's another corner and so what that is telling me is that I need to join those three corners together and what that is that is the outside of the shape here and so now I just need to think about this half scale factor everything else now needs to be half the size so this length here of two that's now only a length of one the height here of two is now only a height of one the length of two here is now only one and the length of two here is now only one and so my new shape is this one here there is my fractional enlargement it's gotten smaller and closer to the center of enlargement and lastly we're going to look at um, describing the transformation from a to b so we need to find what has happened to turn shape a into shape b now the first thing we can say for certain here is that an enlargement must have happened because the shapes have got bigger so the first word that we need to use is enlargement and so enlargement is the first thing we need to say and when we uh, when we've looked at enlargements there were two things that we always had to say we had to say a scale factor which I'm going to call SF and we need a center if we don't have all three elements we are not going to get full marks uh, on one of these questions and so in order to find the center this time we need to use those rays again but this time what we're going to do is we're going to join the corner of the shape to the corner of the same shape uh, sorry the same corner of the other shape and we're going to do that from going from the largest one to the smallest one and just drawing the lines through as far as we possibly can and so the bottom corner going through this corner and what you notice is all three of those lines meet in the same point so here they meet at zero zero and so we can say that the center is zero zero because that is where all of the rays meet the next thing is what is the scale factor well in terms of the scale factor we just need to compare the lengths that we've got so we have a length of one compared to a length of three so from the small shape to the big shape that is three times bigger just to be sure it's two along the bottom it's become six along the bottom that is as well a scale factor of three and so our scale factor is three in the next one 
we're still looking for the transformation from A to B. And again, the shape has changed size. So we must begin with the word enlargement. Um, that is the only way that a shape will change size from a transformation. Um, but again, we need a scale factor and we need a center. And so, once again, we need to draw in some lines. So our rays joining together from the larger shape to the smaller one and drawing them as far as we possibly can. Same corner to same corner and drawing them as far as we can. And the same corner to the same corner and drawing as far as we can. And you will notice once again that those points all meet at the same space. And that is at point 0.16. So we can say straight away that our centre of enlargement is 0.16. The last bit is the scale factor. And this is where you've got to be very, very careful. This is our original shape, A. And we've turned it into B. Now, in this case, the shape has actually gotten smaller. So we need to just think in terms of um, scale factors that this is going to be a fraction. And so this side is 3 this side is one um, and so if that is the case the scale factor can be worked out by using the smallest side divided by the bigger side um, or sorry the uh, the image divided by the object so one divided by three well that is one third so the scale factor is a third and so we're going to end with the exam question. It came from the NXL paper in June 2018 and it was on higher paper 2. It asked us to enlarge shape A by scale factor a third at center 0, 1. Now in this case they've actually already plotted 0, 1 onto the diagram. So all we need to do is to draw in our rays to make sure we are in, this, uh, in the correct position. So we're going to go through each of the corners. And in this case because it's a four sided shape we, might, uh, we can do all four, and actually two of the corners are on the same line. And then the last one, just going up through the top right corner. Now, because it is a scale factor of a third, the first thing we want to be thinking about here is how have we gotten from the center to the corner? Well, that is nine spaces up and three spaces along. So a third of that is going to be three spaces up and one space along so that is going to be here and then if we were to take um, the top right hand corner well that is going to be again up nine spaces but across six and so uh, to um, do that by a third well that's going to be up three and along two there's going to be the next one and you can start to see that there is the top of my new shape the rest of it we could probably build using the rays and the fact that we know all of the lengths so this length here is six if i take a third of that it's only two so it should only be have a height of two and this one has a length of three so that should now only be one and just finish it off I'm going to shade it in because it's uh, not quite clear. Here is the shape that I have created. And so I've managed to, uh, uh, to enlarge that shape by a scale factor of a third.